So once you have filled in your stream key, you want to find that on the YouTube dashboard uh, and you want to just click on stream key and you want to fill that in. It's going to look looks uh, like something like this. I think it is like pretty long. Then what we're going to do the auto. Well, all the settings below this do not really affect the quality of your stream. <laughs> What's happening guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Twitch tutorial and in today's video I'm going to show you guys exactly the best OBS settings to stream on Twitch. Now I'm going to tell you guys that I'm going to be using uh, OBS Classic, but you can also use OBS Studio, it doesn't really matter, it is actually pretty just the same. But in this video I'm going to use OBS Classic because that's what I use also to record my videos and to stream on YouTube. So let's say make sure you smash the like button down below already and I will say let's get started. So you can see I have two instances open of OBS, one to record this actual video and one to show you guys what I'm going to do. So as you can see right now, this is um, our OBS and it, all, it is all in Dutch guys, I know, but I will translate it for you. So in order to stream on Twitch, you need the proper settings. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings, I go to settings right here and then we're going to pick encoding. Now there are only two things that you want to change right here. That is the maximum bit rate and the buffer size. Now I would say for streaming, um, I would recommend, you know, put your settings between 1500 and three and a half thousand because three and a half thousand is the max because you really need you really need a powerful computer for that and also a really good internet connection. So if you're you you have to do upload speed as well. Like if your upload speed is, uh, you only want to pay attention to the upload speed, the down the download and the ping doesn't matter. So let's say that your uh, upload speed is 2.7 up. You want to fill in 2700 is your upload speed uh, 3.4 you want to fill in 3400 but if it's like really high like 8.9 you're not going to fill in 8900 8, the maximum doesn't matter what what kind of upload speed you have if it's above 3.5 you want to fill in 3500 even if your upload speed is 15 just fill in 3500 because that is the maximum and you will also want to fill in that in the buffer size so i'm going to fill in 3500 3500 then what we're going to do is we're going to click on uh, apply then we're going to go to broadcast settings and we want to pick live stream now as you can see right now if you pick a live stream you have all kinds of services uh, such as Twitch, uh, we have other others like uh, Cyber Game TV. We have YouTube Daily Motion. So what you want to pick is you want to pick uh, Twitch, obviously. Then what you want to do the VMS URL. You want to pick the the one that's as cl the closest to you. So let's say that you are in uh, London. You want to pick London, obviously. Uh, I'm in Belgium, so I'm going to pick Amsterdam. That's the, that's the closest to me. Well, I'm in the Netherlands right now. And then right here, you want to fill in your stream key. So once you have filled in your stream key, you want to find that on the YouTube dashboard. Uh, and you want to just click on stream key and you want to fill that in. It's going to look looks uh, like something like this. I think it is like pretty long. Then what we're going to do the auto. Well, all the settings below this do not really affect the quality of your stream. So we're going to go to video, click on save. Then what we're going to do is we're going to choose our graphics card. I'm going to pick my uh, the top one. And as you can see, we have the resolution. Now, if you fill in 1920 by 1080, you're going to you're going to stream on 1920 by 1080. If you're going to fill in 1280 by 720 you're gonna stream on 720p now you can also choose to downscale it I would not recommend downscaling it and at the bottom it is how you know, on which FPS you want to stream if you want to stream on 30 FPS you're gonna fill in 30 if you want to stream on 60 FPS you're gonna fill in 60 pretty straightforward then we're gonna go to the audio tab and right here you can choose uh, the speakers that you want to have your audio to go through and the below it your microphone obviously this is my microphone as you can see and this is basically how to do it. If you want to go to uh, um, advanced, just keep everything how it is. Normal, uh, 700, very fast, main two, and you want to click on OK. And now when you click on start streaming, you will go live on Twitch. So that is basically how to do it, guys. Those are the best settings for for, uh, for streaming 1080p or 720p, 30fps or 60fps. It is all the same. It works the same in this, pro in this program. So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you for the continued support. I'll catch you guys tomorrow with a brand new After Effects tutorial as always on Friday. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Halford.